Full pox may not top the list of the most lethal chicken diseases, but for sure it is one of the most devastating diseases to commercial poultry farmers. It causes suffering and stress to chicken, leading to great losses. That is why in today's video, I have prepared you a list of the most available, affordable and easy to make natural organic treats to eliminate fall pox away from your chicken as soon as possible. I will also tell you the different types of fall pox disease and how to know that your chicks have contracted this disease. Therefore, before we continue, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you can be able to be notified whenever we post a new video also make sure that you hit that like button because that keeps us going and that will also help the youtube to push this video to more farmers so that they can be able to access this important information and also if you have any suggestion concern or any topic that you would want me to cover, make sure that you comment in the comment section below and make sure that you also tell us where you are watching this video from. Fall pox may not kill your birds depending on the severity and other related factors, but when it attacks, you can as well uh, forget filling your basket with eggs and prepare to see thin emaciated chickens in a few days. Fall pox will reduce the growth rate and egg production dramatically. The disease persists for three to five weeks or even longer uh, before the bird can overcome it. The idea behind eliminating this severe viral disease is to support uh, the chicken for faster recovery. There are two types of fall pox. There's the dry fall pox and the wet fall pox. The dry fall pox affects at the featherless areas, mostly the wattles, the comb, areas around the eyes, and, and sometimes even the feet. Dry crusty scabs, uh, these are the dried fluids from the wounds caused by this disease and may be seen on these featherless areas. The wounds appear as blisters which turn yellow, brown, or even black and may even look like what the scars should not be confused for those of cannibalism or the scaly leg mites the other type which is the most severe is the wet fall pox this type of fall pox affects at the mouth the throat and trachea the symptoms of this wet fall pox include lesions or ulcers in the mouth and throat this type also causes swellings which may obstruct or interfere uh, with breathing and this will cause hypoxia that is the lack of enough oxygen which can cause death for your information if you see any blisters wounds ulcers or lesions on the waters the face the mouth or even the throat of your chicken this is usually a sign of uh, full pox. Other symptoms is that you are going to notice a decrease in egg production, a loss of appetite and uh, another thing is that you will notice that your chicken will lose weight and will have facial swellings. Now that we have discussed uh, how you can be able to identify these types of full pox in your chicken, what are the, now the organic natural treats to help us eliminate this disease away from our chicken? First, we need to know that there are two types of treatments when it comes to treating fall pox. The first is the topical treatment and the other one is systemic treatment. I am going to give you organic treats in both of these treatments. When it comes uh, to topical treatment, it means applying the organic treats that I'm going to give you onto the wounds and the blisters uh, caused by this disease. The first organic topical treatment is the lemon juice extract. The lemon extract has ascorbic acid and other components that helps to suppress the virus and create a hostile environment for multiplication of disease-causing microorganisms. This uh, lemon extract will prevent the entry of other disease causing microorganisms through these wound, wounds and this helps the wounds to heal faster. What you are going to do is to get a lemon fruit, then you are going to 
press it until it feels squashy. Then using a knife, you are going to slice at the lemon into four quarters and gently rub the lemon on the affected areas of the chicken, pressing the lemon to make sure that the affected areas become wet with the lemon juice. The second natural organic treat is the palm oil and honey. These two organic treats help the wounds to dry up and heal faster. And also, the, this palm oil and honey, when applied on the wounds, this will prevent the disease-causing microorganisms from getting into the body uh, through the affected areas. It also relieves the chicken from pain and stress. The other important topical treatment is toothpaste. Yes, toothpaste. Some farmers, especially who rear the indigenous chicken, have reported of the healing power of the toothpaste when it comes to treating the full pox disease. The idea behind using the toothpaste is to try and fasten at the drying up of the wounds so as to reduce transmission and also the pain and stress that comes with these wounds in the buds. The second type of treatment is the systemic treatment. The natural organic treats that I'm going to uh, to give you under this treatment usually target the wet fall pox. This is the type that affects the mouth, the throat and the trachea of the buds. Number one is the garlic. I chop the cloves of garlic and drop them into the chicken's drinking water. Garlic helps to eliminate opportunities infections because it has antimicrobial properties opportunistic infections these are diseases that usually emerge when the immunity of the bird is suppressed and what the fallpox virus does it suppresses the, the immunity of the chicken and therefore other diseases uh, which could be hiding inside the body they could come up now and cause even severity of this condition that is why giving these organic traits will help to eliminate or suppress the, those opportunistic infections. The third organic treat is the turmeric powder. Turmeric powder is an organic treat that has antimicrobial and immune boosting components. In fallpox treatment, this turmeric powder is added to the feeds or water to help the chickens handle the stress that comes with their fallpox disease. The number four organic natural treat is the essential oils. Essential oils are natural organic extracts from specific plants of medicinal value. Uh, essential oils uh, for this case of treating uh, fallpox, they are multi-purpose. That is, uh, when it comes to treating the fallpox disease, you can either use them as topical or systemic uh, treatment. Uh, this essential oil include, include the thyme essential oil, the oregano essential oil, and the lavender essential oils. These essential oils uh, not only act as natural antimicrobials, but also uh, they boost the chicken immune system, which is what the chicken needs when under infection, for example, by this fallpox disease. All these organic treats are used until you see the lesions and the wounds caused by this fallpox have healed. Therefore, make sure that you hit the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how to boost your growth performance of your chicken by starting up with selection of healthy chicks.